You know, I usually put gas in here, but occasionally I put more than gas, like um, a whole gallon of Marvel's mystery oil, just to find out what would happen if you added a whole gallon of Marvel's mystery oil to your gas tank. Come to find out, not much happened. I was kind of disappointed. So I thought, well, maybe I need to try a different product this time. A lot of recommendations came in and said, hey, why don't you give Lucas a try? I'm like, well, I've seen Lucas. They seem like they have a good product. Yeah, I think that's the ticket. I think I will give their product a try. So of course I had to go down to the local auto parts store and order myself a whole gallon of Lucas upper cylinder lubricant. Look at this stuff. It cleans your fuel injectors, it's a fuel conditioner, neutralizes poor fuel quality, treats 400 gallons of gasoline or diesel. Just imagine, this is only a 15 and a half gallon tank and a whole gallon of this treats 400 gallons of gasoline. So one whole gallon and 15 gallon tank should give my car an amazing amount of gas mileage, power and cleaning because that's how math works. So in this video, I'm gonna see what happens when you throw a whole gallon of Lucas upper cylinder lubricant in the gas tank of my 2020 Mustang. Let's have some fun on Cars Create. So the one thing I want to do before I throw that whole gallon is, is I want to check out the spark plug. Now the last time I happened to do this with a whole gallon of Marvel's mystery oil, the one thing I didn't do was show what the spark plug looked like before I put a gallon of Marvel's mystery oil in. I only showed it after, so I'm not going to make that mistake twice. And of course for this I'm going to show you what it looks like before, so... And here we are. And this is what the spark plug looks like before adding a whole gallon of Lucas upper cylinder lubricant and fuel injector cleaner. It doesn't look too bad. But let's see if that whole gallon of Lucas can make it look better. All right, the moment of truth has come. Whole gallon going in, no cuts this time. I'm gonna pour it straight in, one clean shot. Peeling off the lid right now, fresh bottle. Mmm, smells like success. Here it goes, one cut. Hey, right, that is it. Whole gallon in the tank. First start with a gallon of Lucas in the tank. <laughs> well, you thought something was gonna happen? Of course not. Just like my last video, I gotta go to the gas station so I can go ahead and top off with fresh fuel, mix it all up nice. That way it has a nice full tank to do its job the way it needs to do it. And last time a lot of people got on me about cheap Wawa gas. This time I'm using premium top tier gas from a well-known top tier gas station. Ah, BJ's gas. Look at that. The best gas around. All right. Well, there we are. We're all topped off with Fresh 93. So now we just got to let this whole tank cycle through with some fun driving. And that's how we know we're going to get the max results. It's almost like I feel it working already. the maximum clean you got to be able to just ring it out just keep it at the top rpms for as long as possible yeah right there that's where it's going to clean the best i'm just going to drive like this for about 20 minutes After about 30 minutes of driving like that, I think we're all good. That helps, you know, make sure the fuel injectors are firing really quick, the duty cycles up. So you get a nice clean spray pattern and it gets all in there, it gets everything nice and clean, right? So yeah, I mean, I think that helped a lot. 
I mean, looks like my engine temp may be up uh, a little bit past the halfway mark, and my oil temp is more than halfway, but I think that's just because everything is getting in there and cleaning and stuff, so, you know, it might be generating a little extra heat, but sometimes heat's good for cleaning because it helps break things up, so, you know, I think it's working just fine. It's working fine. How's my boost looking? A lot. As you can hear, the car is running great. And I've pretty much went through that whole tank of fuel with the Lucas in it. I can tell you the car is running fantastic. And in the time this week that I've been driving it around, and since it's been running better, I kind of had a few encounters with a Mustang GT, a Scat Pack, an older base model Corvette. Let me tell you, the Lucas really helped me put the lay down with the EcoBoost on those cars. They didn't even know what was coming. They did not know I had a whole gallon of stuff in the tank. It really surprised them. But that's all fair and good. What you want to know is after a whole tank of the stuff and a week's worth of driving, has it made any improvements on that spark plug? Well, I guess we're going to have to find out. Cracking it loose now. There it goes. Go ahead and see what the spark plug looks like. Oh, wow, look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I don't know, some people say this looks fouled. I think it's just bleeding horsepower. So that's why it looks the way it does. Oh my goodness. I mean, what are you gonna expect? I wonder what this smells like. <laughs> smells like Lucas, straight Lucas. See, bleeding horsepower. That's amazing right there. So there it is. That's exactly what happens when you put a whole gallon of Lucas upper cylinder lubricant in the tank of a car. In my case, my 2020 Mustang. It has obviously done a great job at lubricating things. As you can see, the spark plug here is bleeding horsepower. So much so that I might have to replace it with another set because I don't know with all this horsepower coming out of them, they're gonna to last too much longer. So that's exactly what happens. So at least I know everything in there is nicely lubricated. So it definitely does a great job. And obviously all that extra lubricant has helped with power, which allowed me to beat cars that normally I would beat, but I really, really beat them this time. So that goes ahead and show that Lucas seems to have a really good product. And unlike the Marvel's Mr. Oil, it seemed to have done a whole lot more. So anyways, I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share with everyone you know. If you want to see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Keep a look out for the next true car enthusiast video.